Pancreatitis is inflammation of the pancreas that occurs when pancreatic enzyme secretions build up and begin to digest the organ itself. Our main focus in this video will be acute pancreatitis. Acute pancreatitis is characterized by rapid inflammation that lasts a few days. It often goes away completely and leaves no permanent damage, though it can be serious at times. The initial presentation of a patient with acute pancreatitis is typically a sudden onset of severe epigastric pain or pain in the upper left side or middle of the abdomen, which can radiate through to the back. This is accompanied by nausea and vomiting. The pain may worsen within minutes after eating or drinking at first, more commonly if foods have a high fat content. The pain may be worse when lying flat on the back and becomes constant and more severe, lasting for several days. Other symptoms are fever, sweating, increased heart rate, swollen, tender abdomen, bloating and fullness, clay-colored stools, hiccups, and some patients may experience diarrhea. The most common causes are gallstones and alcohol, accounting for up to 80% of the cases. The causes of acute pancreatitis can easily be remembered by the mnemonic Get Smashed where G stands for gallstones which blocks the bile duct or where the bile duct and pancreatic duct open into the duodenum, therefore disrupting the flow of pancreatic enzymes which eventually triggers pancreatitis. E for ethanol or alcohol consumption. T for trauma to the pancreas. S for steroids use. M for mups. A for autoimmune diseases such as systemic lupus or erythematosus. S for scorpion venom which is very rare. H for hypercalcemia. E for endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. D for drugs, such as azathioprine, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or diuretics. Other uncommon causes of acute pancreatitis are viral infections like HIV. Infections with parasites. Abnormal structure of the pancreas. And hereditary pancreatitis, which is a rare form of pancreatitis which can be inherited from a parent. The likelihood of getting pancreatitis increases with the following. Being a heavy drinker. If you have gallstones or have family history of gallstones. If you are a heavy smoker. If you are obese. If you have diabetes. If you have a family history of pancreatitis. Being male. And being an African American. Each of the causes we've discussed leads to premature interest in our cell activation of digestive zymogen. And these enzymes, once activated, cause a sinar cell injury. A sinar cell injury early in acute pancreatitis leads to a local inflammatory reaction. If this inflammatory reaction is marked, the digestive enzymes from the pancreas are released into the bloodstream and into systemic circulation where it causes autodigestion of fat, leading to fat necrosis and injury to blood vessels causing hemorrhage. All these events lead to a systemic inflammatory response syndrome which later on leads to distant organ damage and multiple organ dysfunction syndrome. Fat necrosis can result in the release of free fatty acids, which react with serum calcium to produce chalky deposits in fatty tissue and induce hypocalcemia. End-stage pancreatitis leads to pancreatic necrosis, which can be partial or complete. Your healthcare provider may suspect acute pancreatitis based on your presenting symptoms and the history which includes the risk factors such as heavy alcohol use or gallstone disease. The health care provider will do a physical exam, which may show epigastric tenderness, with or without guarding. Rare signs include Cullen's sign which is bruising around the umbilicus and Gray-Turner's sign, which is bruising in the flanks. These signs represent retroperitoneal hemorrhage. Tetany may occur from hypocalcemia. To confirm diagnosis, you may go through additional tests. Lab tests that show the release of pancreatic enzymes will be done. And these include Increased serum blood lipase level Increased blood amylase level Increased urine amylase level Comprehensive metabolic panel And complete blood count Imaging tests that can show swelling of the pancreas may be done. And this are CT scan of the abdomen MRI of the abdomen And ultrasound of the abdomen Acute pancreatitis does not have a cure, hence supportive measures are the basis of treatment. Treating underlying cause is paramount. The treatment may involve the following. Hospitalization with supportive care and monitoring. To provide relief from pain, pain medication is prescribed. To remove a gallstone, 
other blockage, or damaged section of the pancreas, an endoscopic procedure or surgery is performed. If your pancreas isn't working properly, you may need supplemental pancreatic enzymes and insulin. Stopping food or fluid by mouth to limit the activity of the pancreas. A nasogastric tube may also be passed into the stomach to feed you, as you will not be able to eat properly. Complications of acute pancreatitis include Hyperglycemia secondary to destruction of islets of landrins which disrupts insulin production. Pancreatic pseudocyst. Pancreatic necrosis. Hypocalcemia due to fat necrosis. Acute kidney failure. Lung damage due to acute respiratory distress syndrome. And disseminated intravascular coagulation. By taking actions to prevent the medical conditions that can contribute to pancreatitis, you can reduce your chances of developing new or recurring episodes. Maintain a healthy lifestyle and aim to maintain a healthy weight by exercising regularly. Avoid alcohol and stop smoking. And that is all for this video. Please support us by liking this video, sharing it and by subscribing to our channel for more educative medical content. Thank you for watching. Until next time.